Hello everyone. Today we are uh, going to study about analytic functions. So without wasting any time, let's get started. What is an analytic function? An analytic function computes values of a group of rows and returns a single result for each row. So as window functions perform, they return single value for each row or record. Uh, so analytic functions uh, just computes over each record or row in the group of rows and return the value for them. This is different from aggregate functions which return a single value for a group of rows. So aggregate functions are the only functions that return single value for a group of rows while analytic and ranking functions they return uh, value for each record or row in the group of records. It includes the over clause which defines a window of rows around the row being evaluated. So as we have already studied about over clause that uh, we use over clause after the window function we are using just to define the window. Various analytic functions lag, lead, first value, last value, cum dist, percent rank, percentile quant, percentile disk. So these are the various analytic functions we are going to study now in detail. Lag lag function gets value from any desired row that precedes the current row. So suppose if we have a column and we want a similar column but values uh, with one row down. So let's consider that we have 1, 2, 3 in first, second and third uh, row. So with lag 1 we will have 1 in row 2, 2 in row 3 and 3 in row 4. So this is how lag works. Lag function gets value from any desired row that precedes the current row. So whatever the rows that precede the current row, that uh, they can be <coughs> lagged with lag function. It is mainly used when there is a need to compare current row values with any other row before the current row. So generally when we want to uh, make comparisons between all the rows such, uh, such that uh, the comparison is made like uh, the current state and the previous state or the previous rows then we use lag function the value obtained can be returned on the same record without the use of cell join making it straightforward to compare so again that's the advantage of window functions that we need not use any join or make it complex uh, this gives a straightforward answer for comparison syntax lag uh, expression offset default so here we write the expression uh, on which we want to perform the lag here we write the offset like uh, value of n like whatever the lag uh, number of times we want to perform the lag like 1 2 or 3 or 4 so that uh, that many times the rows would be uh, preceded like the first row would be uh, if offset is equals to 4, the first row would be uh, shown after 4 records and similarly all the records will follow over partition by an order by so these are the partition by order by cl clauses partition order clauses that we use over here in the over clause lead lead function gets value from any desired row that follows the current row so that's uh, just opposite of what we do in the lag function lead function gets value from any row that follows the current row it is mainly used when there is a need to compare current row values with any other row after the current row so that's just opposite of we and what we understood in lag function the value and uh, the value obtained can be return on the same record without the use of search when making it straightforward to compare again the same thing as we learned in the lag function and the syntax uh, it's the same as well here the offset means to follow here the offset means that the uh, record that each record will follow after n uh, offset first value it returns the first value in an order set of values so in all the records we have first value will get the first value in all the set of values syntax first value expression over partition by x order by y and frame clause so here we give the expression and uh, in the over clause we give a partition and order clause to uh, x and y respectively and then we have the frame clause la frame clause basically defines the range 
like from infinite something to infinite something or anything we want to define it as last value it's again just the opposite of the first value it returns the last value in another set of values and the syntax is same cum dist this function is used to calculate the cumulative distribution of a value within a group of values so within all the group of values it gives a cumulative distribution it calculates the relative position of a specified value in a group of values so for every value or for a record it gives a relative position within all the group of values uh, syntax cum dist over partition clause and order clause percent rank it per calculates the percentile ranking of rows in a result set so what does it do it gives percentile ranking of rows and uh, we know the difference between percent and percentile it is pretty clear that percentile will tell how much uh, row is ahead of other rows it ranges from 0 to 1 it uses formula rank minus 1 divided by total number of rows minus 1 to calculate the percentile rank so this is the formula which is used to calculate the percentile rank and uh, the result of it is uh, ranges between 0 to 1 syntax percentile rank here we write the uh, analytic function and uh, followed by the over clause which has a partition and uh, order clause in it percentile quant it calculates the percentile based on continuous distribution of the column value so in percentile quant uh, we get the percentile based on continuous distribution the result is interpolated and might not be equal to any of the specific values in the column so th here the result is basically interpolated and we might not get it equal to be any of the specific values in the column syntax percentile disk numeric literal whatever we wanna give within group here we th we have something as within clause within group order by over partition by percentile disk the percentile disk function lists the value of the first entry where the cumulative distribution is higher than the percentile that you provide using a numeric literal parameter so uh, this might sound confusing but it's actually not the it is basically used to uh, it basically lists out the value of the very first entry where the cumulative distribution is higher than the percentile that we provide using a numeric literal parameter it lists the value of row at which the cumulative distribution is higher than the specified percentile so i think this statement might have made it more clear to you that it just lists the value of row at which cumulative distribution is higher than the specified percentile syntax percentile disk numeric literal within group order by x over partition by y it's just similar as we saw it before thank you that's all